Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today we're going to discuss, does your childhood play a part in your relationships today? So many of us go through relationships and we go through patterns and dating patterns and things that just seem to be always the same result at the end of the day. We have problems in our, in our relationships and we don't know what's going on, what's happening. Why are we repeating things over and over again and why can't we get past it? Well, some of it is sort of an internal dialogue that keeps rearing its head every time because this is what you learned at an early age. If you learn this in the formative years of your life, in your early youth, this will stick to your ribs like nothing else. And what happens is it's familiar, familiar to you. So you end up feeling sort of a connection to it. And not necessarily a good connection. Sometimes it can be. Sometimes it could be you had this amazing childhood. Your parents loved you so much. And that can also be a hindrance as well. Because if you didn't have to fend for yourself very much and relied on your parents all the time, that can play a big part. The real answer here is to look at what went on during the years that you can remember the most of and what what kind of set your mind your mind when it comes to love when it comes to romance when it comes to what a real relationship is this is important to really pay attention to because if you are repeating patterns that aren't working you need to change this up but you have to know what it is first and foremost before you can make any alterations to what's going on here. So if your parents were the type that told you they loved you all the time and they were really attentive to you, that's a bonus because that has taught you the value and importance of a really strong and healthy relationship. If you come from the other side of the coin where there wasn't a lot of love, you might not know what it actually is. It may be something that's foreign to you. You think love is sex. You think love is just a really good friendship. If you don't know how to let your feelings go in the form of romance and love, it can be a really difficult path to be in a relationship because you're continually trying to search and find what you're looking for. And your partner isn't getting what they deserve either because you're holding back. You've got a little veneer up here and you've got a bit of a wall that keeps you and protects you from being hurt. This is why we tend to repeat certain things in our life because we don't really want to own them, deal with them, and keep giving um, any kind of attention to them because we want to forget about it for the most part. So if your parents weren't role models and you didn't really have a great connection with them, this will cause problems in probably a lot of your relationships. So what I would suggest that you do here is be open with your partner. If you're in a really great relationship and they're looking to have a commitment with you, sit down with them and, and tell them what went on and what maybe you didn't get in your relationship with your parents or your siblings. And maybe there's something that's missing. Maybe at least at that point, they will understand you more. They will be able to help you emotionally deal with things and maybe emotionally connect with them. You need to feel safe. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people who come from childhoods that are really not that great, they hold on to a lot of stuff and they don't have a lot of trust. Because first of all, they don't really know how to have trust, they don't know how to love, and they don't know really the first thing about what being in a normal relationship is because they didn't come from one. That is the hardest thing to overcome. And if this is the case where you had a really tough childhood, whether it was verbal or physical abuse, or you were just sort of tossed aside and, and weren't really paid attention to, you really should talk to somebody in a professional sense because this is something that's embedded in you that may not be able to be cleared away by just yourself or maybe talking to your partner. You might have to go in a little deeper and get to the bottom of what that dialogue is that's stuck inside of you. I really, really recommend it because I deal with a lot of clients at, who have had situations like this happen to them and it takes them so much longer to find love because they don't really know how to look for it properly or how to accept it into their life. 
So if you have a really great partner who's willing to be there and sort of at least draw attention to this and get you to talk about it, you've got a really good chance at having a healthy and normal relationship. But if you choose to keep burying anything that happened and you just don't want to deal with it anymore, it's better left underneath than not talked about, unfortunately, you'll probably continue to have dating patterns, relationship patterns that have issues and this is something that I really want to help you with and help you overcome because because you had a maybe a loveless childhood it doesn't mean you have to have a loveless relationship in your adulthood. You want to sort of figure out what happened, work on it, understand that you're worthy of love first of all. That's a big one that a lot of people have trouble with. You're a good person and you deserve to have a wonderful relationship. It's your stuff to build on and work on. But don't let it lie, really. Don't let your childhood have the power over who you become as an adult. Thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and visit me on cybersue.com. And if you have any dating or relationship questions or uh, coaching services that you need me for, I'll leave the information here and you can contact me there anytime. Thanks so much, everyone.